Welcome back to Popcorn Slimes. My name is Michelle and today we are doing another holiday video for you. This time I shopped from a smaller slime shop that I've purchased from before called Royalty Slime Company. This small shop is incredible because their slimes not only look amazing, but they're super affordable. Um, recently she had a sale where all of this 10 ounce slimes were all under $10, which is an amazing deal. So without further ado, let's get into this festive video. So shipping took about a week, a little bit over a week to arrive, which is completely normal for this time. My package arrived safe and sound with an invoice that had a handwritten note on the bottom, which was so sweet. Additionally, I opened the box to see that I was completely spoiled with some trolley egg tree gummies, which I adored and ate right away. I also got a bag full of extras that had the borax, it had some extra candy, stickers, and some erasers. So here's everything all laid out. As you can see, I was very, very spoiled with a full-size bag of candy, all these extras. I also got a borax pack that was labeled, and will you just look at these stickers? I just, I can't. They're so cute. And I got these little festive erasers too. I was just, I was in love with the extras. I felt so spoiled. Additionally, I got a business card, some candy, and all of the slimes that I ordered, as well as this free gift slime. I'm going to start with a free gift. I don't rate free gifts because obviously they were free. I didn't purchase them. And so I just like to show them to you guys and tell you about them a little bit before getting into my purchased items. This was a clear coated Binsu bead slime that had these red and green festive beads inside. And oh my gosh, this is so cute. I was getting Christmas vibes so much from this and I actually have been carrying this slime around in my purse because it's so easy to play with. It's very holdable. It's coated so it doesn't get sticky on your hands. You don't have to carry around activator and it's just so beautiful and puts me in the holiday mood. Additionally, the clear slime used here makes amazing ASMR. So the first slime I ordered was called March of the Penguins. I really like these new containers in the labels because they have a cute little image depending on what the slime is, the slime name, as well as the scent and the texture. This slime was scented like Melna ice cream and the texture was a clear semi-foam. So the slime was a little stiff when I took it out of the package and that was because it's gotten really cold where I live and the slime just needed to be warmed up because they had just been in a cold spot. However, when I did start to play with it, I could feel the clear coat was going to be amazing once I was able to get this slime warmed up in my hands. Additionally, I was just in love with the color. I thought it was such a beautiful winter blue. It looked just like ice, and the penguins and March of the Penguin theme really came through. In addition to the penguins and snowflakes already added, I got a bag to add myself, which I adore. I don't know about you guys, but overall this reminded me of snow and winter and mittens and a snowball fight. It's like the perfect January slime and I know I'm going to be playing with this well into the winter months. I will say that after I warmed up this slime in my hands, it still remained kind of thick. It just felt like it was a little bit overactivated. It didn't feel rubbery or anything like that. It just felt like it was a tiny bit overactivated. However, I still really enjoyed this slime. This scent was amazing. It is so fresh and so clean and kind of reminds me of a blue raspberry Kool-Aid scent, but very light, not too sweet, and it's just perfect. It, it smells like what snow would smell like if snow had a scent. <laughs> 
Overall, the only issues I had with this slime is that it was a little over activated upon arrival. And also the product that is being used for the clear coat um, tends to leave somewhat of a residue on my hands when I go back to play with the slime. So the first time it wasn't an issue, but when I play with the slime now, when I first touch it, there's like a residue on top. And after I mix it in, it goes away and it's fine. But I did want to say that that is happening. This slime is so beautiful, so perfect for winter, and just adorable. For all of those reasons, I am giving this slime 4 out of 5 popcorns. Next up is Jingle Bell Rock. This is a butter slime scented like cookies. I was stunned with the color when I opened the lid. I thought it was so beautiful, and I additionally liked all of the candy canes and holiday themed charms that were on top. Upon first feeling the slime, it was stiff like the first one. I thought that maybe I just needed to warm it up in my hands because it was really cold where these packages were sitting. The scent of this slime is so delicious. I think it smells more like royal icing than it does cookies, but it smells so good. We have a tradition at my house where we dye store-bought frosting green and put it on the outside of a ice cream cone and then we decorate it with M&M so that'll look like a Christmas tree and this gave me all of those vibes. I thought it looked like the Christmas tree, it smelled just like the store-bought frosting we use and it was so soft. I will say though, after warming up the slime, it didn't seem to get less dense. This was a very, very heavy clay slime. Um, I think that if they just had a little bit less butter in it, it would have been more enjoyable because it did get kind of rippy. However, this is a very good holdable, moldable slime. So I typically do not change slimes um, other than with the provided instruments such as borax, but I really, really wanted to play with this slime, so I did add a little bit of glycerin to soften it up, and that did help with um, the end here. So what you're seeing is the softened slime definitely became more of your traditional butter and similar to the butter textures that I've purchased from this shop before. However, I do want to note that the glycerin didn't keep the slime deactivated. I just think that there's too much clay in here. So when I go to play with the slime now, I take it out and it feels like I'm actually just holding and molding a ball of clay rather than a butter slime. So I think just having a little less clay in there would have made this slime perfect and completely unforgettable. This slime still brings on some beautiful holiday vibes. I was able to get some really nice pops out of it, and it was just fun to poke and play with if you wanted a nice workout for your fingers. For all those reasons, I'm giving this slime 3 out of 5 popcorns. Next up, we have The Grinch Stole My Ice Cream. Just so you guys know, I'm a huge Grinch fan, probably my favorite Christmas figure, so I was very excited for this slime. This is a DIY clay snow hybrid that is scented like ice cream. I really enjoyed this butter snow hybrid base on its own. It was filled with red and green sprinkles, some red and green glitters, and I also got a Grinch charm, which you will see in just a minute. This slime warmed up in my hands beautifully and did not have the issues that I had with the previous butter slime, so I was really excited to see that the textures that I usually get from the shop were back and that it felt amazing. Additionally to me, this is not your traditional ice cream scent to me. It kind of smells like an ice cream parlor. So it smells like the waffle cones baking and all of the sugar and everything mixed. I don't know if you've ever walked into like a Baskin and Robbins, but there's a very distinct scent and that is what it smells like. 
this slime was additionally a DIY clay slime. The clay piece came in its own container, which is really nice because there's definitely going to be expected overflow. I also got an additional bag of sprinkles and this cute little Grinch charm. I was really proud and thought it was so cute all put together and I was so excited to mix it. The clay was very, very soft when I squeezed it and I was, I was so excited to see how it was going to blend into this slime. And oh my gosh, did it blend. It felt so good and so satisfying mixing this clay. It didn't dissolve right away, but it wasn't too hard to mix in, and so it just became this really floofy hybrid texture that had so many fluffs, and I just could poke it all day. Additionally, I want to note that this is a cloud hybrid. There's snow inside of it too, and I got zero snow fallout on me at all while playing with this slime, but I could still feel that the snow was in there because you got some of these icy drizzles and because of the beautiful inflation. So I hands down really, really liked this slime. It was so fun to inflate. I loved all of the aspects of it, the add-ins, the clay piece, the Grinch, the name, the scent, everything was there for me and came together. For all of those reasons, this slime is for all of those reasons, this slime is of course getting five out of five popcorns. The last slime I ordered and the one I was most excited for was called Snowflake Candy Cane Twist. When I opened the jar, the color was perfect. It was so stunning and just the most perfect Christmas red. There were also some tiny little red and green foam beads added in and playing with this base, I was very much looking forward to the DIY part because this was a great base. As you can see, I was able to get tons of stretches out of it, amazing bubble pops, and this slime just hands down is a very good figly, thick and glossy base to use for a clay slime. Since this was a DIY clay, it came with these cute little white snowflakes and they also came in this deli container, which I love because it allows you to put the overflow from this type of slime in there when you are done playing. Also, this slime came with some peppermint femos and white sprinkles to add in. I had a little too much fun assembling this slime. I thought it looked so cute and it was just all of the holiday feels and aesthetic that I love. Just like the other clay, this was such a soft clay and I was so in love with it as I began to mix it in. The clay mixed in beautifully to this slime and really just made it such a fun DIY clay slime. It did lighten the color a little bit, but that's okay. I just thoroughly enjoyed the mixing process. Additionally, I want to say that this slime smelled so good. I mean, it's kind of hard to mess up a peppermint scent, but it smelled like holiday peppermint to me. There's different kinds of mint scents out there, and I think that they nailed it with this sweet peppermint smell that is just so reminiscent of the holiday season.
the slime became very poofy, super inflatable, and just the perfect DIY clay texture. As you guys can tell, I am in love with this slime. It felt amazing the first time. I have been playing with it almost every day since, and I am currently playing with it while I edit. So it's definitely a no-brainer. This slime gets five out of five popcorns. I highly, highly recommend you go check out Royalty Slime Company. There are links below for their Instagram and Etsy. This shop has such high quality, amazing slimes that are incredibly affordable and she has sales all the time. This shop also has mystery slimes and great packages to give for presents that include tons and tons of extras. So like I said before, definitely, definitely go check out this shop. Make sure you get there and see some of these holiday slimes while she is still having her 40% off sale because you're gonna get these for a great price and it is way, way worth it. All right, Colonels, that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the comments below, I'd love to hear what details I am missing or what you'd like to see more or less of. We have a few more slime holiday videos for this month and I can't wait to see you in the next one.